Hello, Bumpy McSquilliams here. I want to thank you all for joining me here at the Murgleton Estate as we continue with my Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon. This is Episode 8. In the last episode, we dealt with the Necromancer's Apprentice, or the Necromantic Apprentice, as I like to call him. And we have a lot of Juju Magumbo to do. We also have a decent chunk of cash. And, yeah, things need to happen. So, what I think we're going to do first is let's take a look at what we have. Ooh, what's this guy got? Shobi. Ooh, I like all of those things. This is not super great. Don't hate it, though. I don't hate it. I don't usually have him in the front line, so it's kind of eh. I'd rather have... I don't hate Flashbang. It's not a terrible skill. I'd rather have Finish Him, I guess. You can use it from any line, or any position on any position. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. So the reason, or the reason this is a really, really good skill is you get an additional third of your damage done if the target is stunned. So that's a thing to do. Um, mark target. I think we're going to get him either way. We'll fix him up. I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to get rid of... Let's see. What do you have? Oh, you're done. I don't care what you have. You're gone. Except you were my cool one. You were the one that actually has all the right skills, but... Stress resist. Won't drink. Heal received is garbage. More stress resist. You're bad gambler. Eh. Ooh, plus two speed if you're uh, at the lights above 75. I mean, you're not you're not terrible, but it's gonna take a little bit to get rid of all that stuff. Now nah, you're gone. We're getting rid of you. We're getting rid of you. You're gone. You're toast. Sorry, buddy. Can't pronounce your Another name anyway. Soul battered and broken. So it's Cast all good. All right. Let's get Aubert up in here. We have Bully, eh, don't care, you're fine, um, what is it, Brereton? Sure. Ooh, he's a Clotter, Bleed Resist, that's not bad to have with his Bleed Heal. Eh, eh, Vulnerability Hex isn't terrible, I mean, eh, it is simply what it is, um, don't really care though. He's not, he's not great enough for me to actually utilize him. We need to fix these guys up, and that's going to be the goal. Alright, so that's the plan first. Let's go here to the Abbey and see what we can do with Fornio. He's got no bad traits. I mean, this dude's a boss. This dude is a boss. Let's get him dealt with. He can pray to a higher power and not get wrecked by whips. That would probably be good. We'll do the same thing with you. And the Cloister. Uh, Borneville. Eh... We'll let you go over to the tavern. We'll actually take a look here at the tavern, too. Um, increase some With stress recovery. There we go. Maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. Borneville. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Yeah, what's up with the Glanville here? Glanville, wow, you got some serious issues. Um, don't want to use any of you for that. Cardinal's fine, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to the sanitarium. And we're actually going to remove a quirk from Renald here. The thing I want to get rid of is get rid of stealing items. That is a very annoying skill or thing to have. Um, reduces treatment costs. I should have probably done that first. Oh well, too late now. And the number of slots available. So you can remove any negative trait by sending them to sending them to the sanitarium. I'm sorry, guys. Not stumbling all over my words. All right, so Cardinal is ready. He's a boss. He's like, what's up? Blacksmith, can we upgrade you, good sir? We can. We'll do weapon smithing, and that's about all we can do right now. It's okay. And we will send Cardinal in, and we will spend some cash to get his armor or his weapon a little bit better off. Uh, Varal, we'll do the same thing with you. All right, Varal. There we go. Who else? Uh, Osmond. You are ready to get upgraded as well. Bam. And I imagine we have some skills that we can upgrade it, uh, on top of all this other wonderful fun stuff. Um, let's go to the guild. And what is the guild looking like? Eh, we don't really have anything extra and amazing here. Uh, what do you have? You are missing your heal. Um, well... Let's see, that's a minus 20 dodge. This is the stun. I think we're going to keep the stun. Uh, that's a self-heal. I don't hate that either. Alright, so we're going to get rid of Illumination. And we're going to get ourselves a Divine Comfort. And there we go. 
And we actually have to fix you up and get rid of this and give you that. Okay. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think we're just about good on everybody else. Um, maybe Osmond can get some, uh, something going on here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he definitely can. We'll give him the, the regular attack. I don't really care about that so much. Maybe we'll get Mark up higher. What does that do? The accuracy is already ridiculous. Uh, crit modifier, I don't care about. I don't need to upgrade that. Come hither. This is the pool. What I think I'd prefer to do would be maybe get finish him. There we go, just like that. I right, now he's set. He's going to do the most damage he can. The accuracy base goes up by 5%. That is kind of important, though. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not going to spend any more cash and monies. We're going to fix him up to go on this next mission, and then we're going to be about our business. Hopefully we can find a short mission. I don't want to do another medium one. If I can help it, but eh, worst case scenario, we'll do it and we'll just deal with it. Alright, there we go. He is now set for whatever position I want to throw him into, and we have a short one where we have to complete 100% of room battles. I will take it. We get some portraits, which we need, and some crests, which we also need, so perfect. There's the wizened hag. She's a tough fight. She is a tough fight. But we're going to go here. I think that's going to be our best bet. We could do... Eh, we'll go here. Alright, front lines. Cardinal, my friend, welcome aboard. Alright. We're going to go... I think we're going to run dual... What do you have? I'm okay with that. You have to be in the front too? Alright, we'll swap you two then. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll run with dual those guys, and we'll get some heals and uh, leveling up on this individual. So let's hope this works out. We're going to go with 12 food, 8 torches, 2 shovels, which I feel like we should be bringing more than 2, but meh. Yeah, that's good. We'll embark. We still have 3,200 left. And we took care of a lot of business, so feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good about this overall. I think we're uh, we're definitely making some headway. We're not getting crushed, and that's kind of important. They breed quickly down there. All right, the let's take a look at what we're looking at but here. Perhaps um, we can slay them even faster. Could roll this way and then back up and around. I think that's the best bet. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we have light. That's a good sign. Oops, wrong thing. Awkward. W doesn't move you forward, folks. It moves you up. Oh, what are those? Carrion Eaters. Oh, this is our first time being in the uh, Warrens. Actually, this might even be my first time being in the Warrens in a long time. I don't remember seeing these guys. Alright, well, we're going to focus on the backline guy. And now the good thing about running dual uh, bounty hunters is you can mark one with, or you can mark with one of them and then kill with the other. So see, he just did a tremendously huge amount of damage because this guy marked. So the double bounty hunter is not a bad plan. It's not a bad strategy at all. The only bad part is the fact that we're kind of having damage done overall here. That's okay. We'll manage. Alright, we have stress heal. Eh, it's fine. Let's just crush his face. Oh, not enough. I'm okay with that. Oh, I hope he didn't get to go again, but he did. So you gonna stack up the oh double blight? That's unfortunate. And down he goes. It is what it is. And we're gonna have to deal with six more damage being done to him, which is gonna put him pretty low. In all honesty, what the heck is this? All right, let's take a look. What do we have? Forty percent trap. Yeah. Oh, nasty gash. Fantastic. All right. Well, that was an unpleasant thing. So a. Why did she? Oh, they both hurt and he was moving forward. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, an interesting start. An interesting start, but I think we'll be okay. Alright. So welcome to some new enemies. This is a lot of stress, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and we got hemophilia, so we're gonna bleed more easily. We're marked, okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I'm gonna pull the little piglet to the front. Hopefully he moves. He did. All right. That's good. Run for the old gods. You move him up the line just slightly. That's not so bad. Pushes him back to the third. And zealous accusation. Boom. And killed. All right. So we're in an okay position at this point. Um, ball and chain. Ooh, it missed. Nice. This guy's got a lot of health. 
24 health. Uh, we're going to do our Divine Comfort. Let's kind of mitigate some of the overall just random damage being done. Not so bad yet. Not so bad yet. I'm still waiting. I know bad things can happen. We're going to have this come hither here. Maybe we'll pull him to the front. No resist. All right. That is a very beneficial thing. Backline ball and chain to our healer right in our mouth. Ooh. Stunder too. Unfortunate. All right, at this point, what I'd like to do is actually mark him. And I realize both of our bounty hunters went this turn, but I think next turn we'll be able to finish him off easy. We'll see, though. We will see. All right, he's bleeding. It's not that big of a deal. We have Zealous Accusation. We're going to throw up again. It's a little minor damage, but we should be able to kill both of these frontline guys and then only deal with the piglet in the back. Fortunately, we don't have an easy way of stealing, uh, stealing? stunning and healing. It's a little bit unfortunate, so we're just going to have to throw out heals. Man, they all got to move first. That is unfortunate. Alright, down he goes, 100%. This guy's going to follow suit. We're actually going to use finish him, might as well. Bam, down he goes. And, well, we're still hurting here, but not too, too bad. We'll smack him for 12, excellent. And then she's going to be able to throw up a heal next turn. We'll mark him up. And I would replace this with a stun, actually, I think is what I would do with him. Especially if we're going to run doubles. We really, really need to heal. This is not going well. Alright, we're just going to kill him, I guess. Remind Ooh, a thousand gold. Alright, that's fine. Slow and insidious that is killer. fine. We're going to eat some food here. There we go. Uh, if we had herbs, this would be better. Um, we'll go with him. Alright, makes him ill, but he resisted. Yeah, like a boss. Alright. What are we looking at here? We're going to go this way. Well, not a good start. Not a good start, I have to say. Oh, here we go again. Oh, and we got surprised. Fantastic. All right, we're going to rend for an, the old gods right now. Excellent. Good choice. We'll have him come hither. And he resisted. Of course he did. We'll move you up the line. He can still do most stuff from the back line, so we might just leave him where he's at. Drums of Doom. Oh, dodged all the way across the board. How fortuitous for us. Alright, we're going to do the party heal. Ooh, we healed for eight. That's really, really good for us. He's still bleeding. That's unfortunate. It really is. Alright, we'll try the come hither again. Resist it again, but hey, at least we're doing some damage there. Alright, that's unpleasant, but okay. That's okay. Ooh, not if it stacks up. Alright. We're still handling it. We're handling our... Ooh, Drums of Doom. Dodge! No! There's some stress. But we're not really super stressed right now, so I guess that's not that bad. Alright, going to finish him on the back line. Ooh. We are... Oh, we're towing the line between good and terrible. We really are. Oh. Maybe we're not towing the line. Maybe we're just terrible at this point. Come hither. Ooh, and a crit. And we pulled him up. Nice. I've come to collect, says the bounty hunter. All right, we get to move you up and we'll mark this guy. Hopefully one of our other guys get to move before they do. Oh, the drums of doom are coming out again. Even more stress stacked up on our individuals. And the backline guy is really hurting for it. All right, before the other guy moves, give me a chance to move with someone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, we're going to go for him. Drop him out of the way. He is seriously hurting. Run for the old gods again. He's got like a 15 stack bleed on him, man. Jeez. Come on. Throw some heals, lady. Jeez, what are you doing? A three heal. Wow. Mm. Hey, it's something, right? It's something. Alright. Kind of smack the marked guy. Wow, we actually killed him. Wasn't expecting that. That was actually a surprise. It's okay. It's okay, we're just chilling there, bleeding out all over the floor, standing in a puddle. It's, it's, it's totally fine. Well struck. You are marked! Ooh, stress relief, I like it. Alright, run for the old gods. Resist the bleed? Oh, no. Really? Double marked! Eh, it is what it is. Alright, good, she gets to move, throw another heal up. Ooh, another good one too, a five heal. And he bled for one, and done. There it is, folks. Alright. 
creatures can be found. We shall move you to here. We shall move you to here. And I guess that's it. Alright, so we're good to go now. Man, this is actually a rough battle. Alright. Maybe stick to the not using this area on the next little bit when we have rookies on the squad. That was, a. Uh, this has been kind of rough. Our healer doesn't quite have the oomph I was hoping she would have. Alright, a no room battle here. That's a good sign. Alright, scouting rolls. Oh, there's a combat in the hallway there. We'll go here. Alright, we need to eat. That's good and or bad, depending on how you look at it. Alright, there's some treasure loot. We shall take it. Ooh, a map. That might help us. Huh. That actually did absolutely nothing for us. Awkward! Alright, well, that was kind of useless. Not gonna lie. So we'll backtrack our way this way. And we'll head up and deal with everything that we have to deal with. It's unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. So, meh. I say meh. There will be a trap. I don't know what that is. What is that? Scrawlings. Ugh. No, thank you. Alright, there's a trap. Who's the best trapper? A 40, a 30, and... Okay. So you're able to fight from... Actually, you two are swapped. You need to be here. Okay. So you are the trapper. Alright. 40, yeah! I wish you got, like, bonus experience or loot or something out of that. That would have been nice. Hey, another map. And it will tell us some other stuff. And the last room is probably the last room battle. Well, that is unfortunate for us. That means we have at least two more fights on our way. Well, at least three more fights. Possibly four. Alright, well, let us prepare for this. The way is lit. The path is clear. Here we go. We require only the strength to follow it. Here it comes. Get surprised. No. Run for the old gods. Oh, dodge. Alright, alright, come on. Run for the old gods again. Miss? No. Resist? No, of course not. Now, it is our turn to do something. We'll pull you to the front. Get over here! Alright, I like that. And we will hit you really hard. Not enough to kill you. But we still have Cordon Blue over here who might be able to do something. Actually, I think it's Cordonel, right? Alright, big heals, big heals. There it is. That's not really a big heal, but it's a heal. And we'll take it. Alright, down you go. Makes me feel a little bit better. Ooh, there's a torch right there. That's good. Stop it. Ooh, good dodge, good dodge. Alright, is it our turn? Is it our turn? It is. Let's hit him with the mark, and let's finish him with the mark. Come on. Your turn, buddy. Your turn. No. Alright. Get dodged, I guess. Darn. No! Resist the bleed! Yeah! All right, and you're dead. Well, we're, we're, we're hanging in there, we're hanging in there. We'll do the uh, party heal, the divine comfort, and we're gonna mark you up, and then hopefully take you out with our other individual here. Nope, you get to run one more time, that's unfortunate. But we resisted once again. Ooh, she gets to throw another heal, I like that, eh. It is simply what it is, folks, it is simply what it is. We'll hit, and we'll finish. Maybe. Maybe we'll finish. Will we? Alright, we can uppercut and knock him back. That seems so silly. Why would we ever want to do that? Well, I suppose you can knock the frontline guy back behind if he's like a double wide guy or something. Alright, what are we looking at here? Alright, there's the treasure loot here, which we will definitely take. Would have been nice to get the surprise on them, but I'll, I'll take it either way. There's a trap coming up, and is that you? No, it's you, right? Yeah. We should keep moving, but oh, unfortunate. Oh, and you're bleeding. Oh, gosh. Alright. Let's torch up and get in here. We're hanging in there, folks. Looks like there's only two more battles to go. What is that? I don't know, but I want to touch it. I want to touch it. It's a pile of bones. Ooh, strangely fascinated with the remains. I'm bloodthirsty. Is that bad? It is bad. Eh, it doesn't sound that bad, honestly. All things considered, there could be a lot worse stuff than that one. Alright, we're going to torch up again, right. and... The promise of safety. We're going to heal up as well. 
And this is the end of the dungeon anyway. Oh, an almost relatively easy combat. I will take this. Finish him. Oh, and the crit. What? What a way to finish, guys. Good job. Alright. Next up, we're gonna crush your face. And then if he if she gets to move and then he gets to move, I'll be really happy. Grave nibble. Oh, we dodged. Yes! Oh, perfect. Perfect. Big heels. Ah, four, I'll take it. I'll take it. And good day. That's what we needed. That is exactly what we needed for this. Alright. That 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 was a game changer right there. That put us in a really good spot. Alright. And here comes the Amazing final room and the final battle. Oh, this group of guys. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, dodge. Get over here. I like it. I like it. And good day. All right, down he goes. Nice. All right, we're going to do zealous. Uh, there's no point in doing zealous accusation. Let's just do this one. Bam. 10 damage. He's got 35 health overall. We're going to do another heal up on you. Then we'll start doing party heals for the rest of this. Point blank shot. That could be annoying. I don't think it's going to change much. Even if he moves, it's not that big of an issue. Slice and dice is nasty, though. I will say. I will say slice and dice is not a fun skill. All right. And not resisted. Very nice. A crit and no resist. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Ouch. No bleed. No bleed. All right. And good day. And now all we have left to do is deal with him. Point blank shot. Missed. All right. And... Oh! Eight damage followed up with a heal. Yeah. Good. We get to heal. It doesn't really... You know what? We don't even need to heal. It doesn't matter at this point. Let's, um... Let's do this. Get that stun. Get that stun. Aw, oh, resisted. That would have been nice. That would have been real, real, real nice. Alright. Let's mark him. And let's do some dan- Oh, we missed. That's unfortunate. Rain of whips. Oh, quad dodge. What? And get hit for eight again. He seems to be lacking in damage like we're all just like Rex fools. This guy not too much. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, your turn, buddy. Your oh, he just removed it. Dang it. He's dead. The victory. The victory is ours, the folks. The victory is ours. Well, it was looking a little bleak there for a little while, I'm not gonna lie. But in the end, we managed to do it, so. I will take it. We have our key, and we shall. Oh, it didn't say a locked strongbox? Oh, an unlocked strongbox. Awkward! It didn't matter. This is the end of the dungeon, so. There we are. Another successful Their run. Fade. Their confidence is shaken. Yeah, we got a, what, eight thousand, almost nine thousand gold out of that whole ordeal, and quite a few heirlooms, some G dubs, a couple deeds, and some portraits. Take it, plus the rewards up here as well. Good stuff. All right, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no. Oh, no whammies. What? Look at that. Plus fifteen disease resist, ruins adventurer. That's twenty stress resist in ruins. Plus two speed, that's amazing. And we have bonus damage and crit, or accuracy and crit against Eldritch creatures. Well, I have to say, overall, that was a pretty substantial gain for us here. I'm sorry, I was waiting for him to talk, and he did not talk again. All right. For Neo, observed unsavory activities and refuses to take part in organized prayer again. He's, he's a witness now, and he will not pray ever again. 69 stress relieved. And achieved enlightenment, new quirk, he's enlightened. We will only meditate for stress relief. Eh. It's not great, it's not the end of the world. We removed um, kleptomania from Renald and the sanitarium. Overall, not too bad. We, we got beat up a little bit. We did. We got, we got pounded quite badly. But, it's okay. It is okay. I saw something about the swine prince down here somewhere, I thought. Oh, left many a swine slain. Okay, there we go. Alright folks, and with that, I am going to call a close to this episode. So, we're still being relatively successful, we have a decent grip of cash, and we're doing pretty good. We're hanging in there, we're definitely hanging in there. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode, thank you for joining me, and I will catch you next time with more Darkest Dungeon. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.